Hi guys, Will Stone, our continuing series on our YouTube channel, Rugged Mountain Truck Campers. We thank you guys for tuning in. Um, on the Polar Series, we promised you guys two new interior colors on the 990 the video that's on our YouTube channel. That's the darker of the two. This is the lighter. So when we get inside, we'll check that out. Same stuff we're doing all the way through. This is our, our satellite uh, cable hookup underneath, and we, we try to poke as few holes in the roof of our campers as we can. Um, Fresh tank fill, city water connection, dual battery tray with slide out tray, and I've showed you guys this stuff on all our other videos, so we'll, we won't bore you going through it. 30 foot uh, power cord, back of the furnace, shower hot and cold with Navy style shut off, LED lights everywhere on these coaches inside and out. Uh, this is a storage door over here, so we did do the security boxes on this. It's an 860, so this is a short box only rig with a generator. So you can see we've got the Carefree Colorado power awning with the LED light strip up above. Adds kind of a disco theme to it. I'll do that again. Own income is 2500 watt gen, LP. This is our pull out tray. And you guys have seen it in our other videos, 96 inches long. So this is big, big storage. Inch thick storage doors on everything. Full four season unit, and this is all finished down below. So this is our term pipe where our sewer hose hooks on. Uh, gray tank knife valve, black tank knife valve. Bumper made in-house, storage inside. To answer the question that everybody's asking, yes, we are working on a step. So we've got a couple of different companies out there that we've uh, we've had do measurements and all that kind of thing, and they're submitting ideas to their R&D and engineering department. So we will decide on something pretty soon here. So uh, to just to answer that question, come on, you guys. So I'll let the camera adjust here a little bit, and you can see how light we're going with this. And we've also gone with a new material down below. It's kind of a vinyl-y stuff. We're putting it here underneath the uh, booth step storage. Also here, because this will be a high traffic pattern getting up and uh, in and out of the bed. But as far as the light colors go, we picked, obviously we've got, we've got new Lou on board and we went really, really light on that. We picked a new deco. Um, this this Lou one is called Decorative. Um, up above, we've got the real white interior. I think that this one's my favorite so far. It's just really sharp, and it's getting away. Um, it, it's getting far away quickly from the rest of the industry that has just stayed dark for so terribly long. So our boot dinette, we've got storage down below on both sides. Uh, I'll show you. We make our own sink cover, and that thing fits tight. There's no bumping around or anything. Table breaks down into a bed, obviously. I'll get this. We missed the bathroom. One of our guys let us know I want them. Here we go. Standard wet bath. Really nothing new for you guys, so. But we'll show it to you anyway. And then come on up here. We'll show some of this stuff up. I'll swap you places. So our monitor panel, we've got, uh, this is our pump. So that's our 12 volt pump that pumps out of the fresh tank. And then this is our direct spark ignition on our water heater. So our water heater is LP only. Um, we're not going off a of 12 volt because we figured our polar series are gonna go pretty high up in, uh, into the woods off the beaten path. Typically you're not gonna be plugged in anyway. Still, we do have the gen on this one. So we're leaving it up to our dealers to order them however they want. And then we've got our generator, uh, station right here prime start stop with the hour meter start looking at storage so you can see we do the uh we do the auto lights on these guys got a full pull drawers got a three burner lp stove top oven as well and i always want to remind people do I have to have the oven? Makes for great storage. You know, once you're done cooking with it, we usually do it like once on the very beginning of a trip, but then it makes great storage afterwards. So range hood, fan and light, and this is actually cut through the wall. So we've got the outside vent on the wall that actually takes whatever odors you're cooking and gets them out of here. 
there's so many of these guys that aren't even putting holes in the wall with the vent on the exterior to get the smells out of here doing what it's supposed to do so we like that we'll stay old school we promise my storage top microwave plug-in we're doing day night shades on everything these are all the way around we're, uh, we've got an option to do dual pane windows as well, um, 170 watt ZAMP solar panel um, on the granite next door. You guys have seen the video on that one. We That, that thing's got everything that we that we do on them. But as we kind of pan around up here, 24 inch Furion television. So this is vibration rated. So that is a, a true RV TV. That's on a fully articulating swing out bracket. Hamper. And we've got our two closets up front. Now, one thing you'll see right over here below this one, we, we added this here recently. That's our 12 volt plug with two USB ports for charging phones and all that kind of thing. So, old school guys catching up with the uh, with the new amenities that everybody wants. Plenty of storage. And then we get to the big, big closet right there on that side. Standard roof egress up top. We've been doing that for uh, forever and ever. And that also makes a cool little skylight that uh, you don't necessarily have to leave closed when you're up there trying to get some sleep. Stainless steel sink, um, our two-year warranty, 12-year uh, roof warranty. So two-year structural, that's on the box, 12-year on the roof. Um, yeah, that's, we're glad we're doing that. Dometic, right up here, this is the 10,000 BTU Dometic high efficiency, high output AC. So we're not going to go in there and say exactly what it, it's, we'll, we'll just call it a 10 BTU. So we want to make sure that even at high altitude, we've got plenty of AC. This is the low pro, so it's the Penguin 2 by Dometic. And this, this thing will turn this camper into an ice box, even at altitude, and it won't burn so much LP. Remember, we've got the two five gallon lay down tanks, both with gauges on them, that will tell you where you're at in your LP, LP use. So. That gives you guys a good look at the interior colors. Um, well, it took us a while to pick them out, but boy, as they and it's kind of fun to see the camper coming together. And as it as it does come together, we get more and more stuff in it. Oh, we, we were just all really excited about this one. So, we hope you guys like the colors. We still haven't named them. We will, I promise. But out of the two new colors for the uh, model year 2019 in the Polar series. This is the lighter if you refer to the 990 on our YouTube channel. That's the darker of the new colors. Again, we thank you guys so much for all your support and tuning in. And uh, we'll keep these videos coming. You guys keep commenting. We appreciate it.